Next, let's talk about the muscles of the pharynx. Now, this is going into a lot more detail, but it is important to know it because they play a role in swallowing and some pathology can occur when there is a disruption of the muscle layers. There are two muscular layers of the pharynx determining the shape of its lumen. The outer circular layer and the inner longitudinal layer. Let me draw here a diagram to clearly show that. The outer circular layer includes inferior constrictor muscle, further is divided into thyropharyngeus and cricopharyngeus, middle constrictor muscle, and superior constrictor muscle. During swallowing, these muscles constrict to propel bolus downwards. The inner longitudinal layer includes salpingopharyngeus, palatopharyngeus, and stylopharyngeus. During swallowing, these muscles act to shorten and widen the pharynx. Zenker's diverticulum, also known as a pharyngeal pouch, is an outpouching at the level of the laryngopharynx. It is located in a posterior midline at the cleavage plane between the thyropharyngeus and the cricopharyngeus muscle, which if you remember is the inferior constrictor muscle. Zenker's diverticulum causes problems when things get stuck there. The entrapment of liquid or food within the diverticulum may result in globus sensation, dysphagia, halitosis, and regurgitation.